Hey, how y'all doing? Just here in Budapest at the Buda Castle Gardens. Are you a late bloomer? Do you know what that even means? Well, I was one. I was a late bloomer. So if you're ever thinking, is it too late for you to start something new, whether that's a business or, you know, get in shape or anything, it's never too late. It's never too late. I always think that I was a late bloomer. I always had grand visions that I'd be a millionaire by the time I were 25. I remember setting them goals when I was at university and it took me this long. It took a long time to develop the skills you need to do what you need to do. I always knew that I'd want a business. Yeah, it took me until I was at least 34 before I started creating a business. And sometimes it takes longer, but it's never too late to start. So, and also if you are a late bloomer, Sometimes that can be quite advantageous. Um, some people take longer than others to develop the skills and the mindset that they need to get going. And, you know, in my case, I was stuck in a, in a good job. I had a good career. I had good skills and it, would, it, 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 it felt risky. Uh, we have a term in the UK that we call the golden handcuffs. You know, when you have a good package and you've got good benefits and things, you don't really want to leave that job, you know. Um, I almost think it would have been better if I had no skills and nothing to lose. Starting from the bottom, I could have just gone for it. But then would I have developed the real maturity and skills that I needed to uh, create something worthwhile and successful? One of my cousins, I look at him and he's been very entrepreneurial since he was early 20s. And some people do that. You do get these young people people that create fantastic businesses in their early 20s but it's not that is not the norm that's not normal most people have to go through a career develop significant skills where they get to a senior position then they may go into a, a contract position but they're still working for other people they're just like a, a limited or a self-employed contractor before they really, really develop all the necessary skills, life skills to go and create a, a worthy business. And sometimes that takes time. Most people are not successful until later on in the career. So, and it's also the same in many other areas of life. You know, some people um, don't really get the health and fitness that they want until later. Some people don't get the sort of uh, relationships that they want until much later. Because if you think about relationships, you do actually need some maturity. Sometimes it takes longer to develop your character and that's fine. So don't be put off if you think it's too late, you know, because um, one of the great things about self-improvement is you can always start today. And that's the way to look at it, really. You've got to make a start and then improve day on day. Don't, you know, don't, it's never too late. You know, have a look at my, I've done a lot of videos on goal achievement where I use the uh, three things a day where I eat off it, eat away continuously at my goals to achieve. You can do that for two decades. So it's never too late to start. I would start today. All right. I'm going to get go and get a spot of lunch. Hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you all next time. Thank you.